Luca the Don, his 12th playoff career double double. Uh, Luca, as you indicated, things kind of started going a little sideways uh, in the first quarter. You guys were hit 15 to 9. Why do you think things kind of unraveled at that point? Uh, I don't know, man. If if I would know, I. Uh, if I would have had the answer, we probably wouldn't do it. Uh, was it something the Suns were doing? I mean, they're an amazing team, you know. Uh, I think the one thing we didn't do great today is our pace, you know. I think in the, first, the last two games, our pace was uh, very good. And when they're set, I think they're one of the best, if not the best, the best defensive team in the NBA. Uh, they held us to 80. Uh, that's pretty impressive. So we got to go and move the ball and... Uh, Better, better pace, fast. And you, season, what, what gives you uh, confidence that uh, Game Six will be different? Just gonna go back home, uh, play the same way we play home. Uh, I know our fans gonna be amazing, and just just play hard in 48 minutes. Luca, you guys only had seven assists. I know you said you need to move the ball more, but how much of it is is what Jason says, like two feet in the paint? How much of it starts with you know getting into the lane and getting those kickout passes? Yeah, I think the statistics. I think they're amazing when we touch the paint. Uh, so I think we got to do more, and that's on me uh, for sure. That's on me, and I got to take the paint more. I was going to ask about that too, Luca. At what point did you feel like y'all kind of got away from that ball movement and that style of play and turned more into isolations and dribbling for long periods? Uh, I wouldn't. I don't mind. I mean, we don't mind the isola isolations as long as uh, we touch the paint. You know, uh, touching the paint is is the key. Uh, the key to win. And from there, you know, that's closeouts and drive it again and that stuff. I think uh, we're great when we touch the paint. And going off of Brad's question before, you said you guys are going to believe if you have just 1%, but what do you sense about the team's kind of mood and morale right now, knowing that this is the first time you guys have faced a, an elimination situation uh, this postseason? I mean, it's good, man. It's good. Uh, we're okay. Uh, we have all the confidence, you know, we're going to go back home. Uh, it's always nice to play home with our fans. And we have confidence, you know. Uh, we got to win two games in a row. Uh, it's going to be really hard, especially against this team, but we're going to believe. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to go to Zoom for two in Spanish. Uh, Eric with the first. Hola Luca, buenas noches, Eric Mora de Telemundo Dallas. Eh, según las estadísticas, más del 86% de los equipos que se ponen 3 a 2 en la serie avanzan a la siguiente ronda. Tú hablabas de la confianza que hay el equipo, pero ¿cuáles son los argumentos que tienen ustedes para mantenerse positivos en cara a lo que va a ser el próximo juego, sabiendo que de ganar van a regresar otra vez a Phoenix? ¿Qué los mantiene positivos a ustedes? Eh, bueno, jugar un partido, ¿no? Eh, hay que ir uno a uno, primero hay que ganar el primero y luego el segundo. Eh, tenemos toda la confianza del mundo y creo que lo, eh, ojalá y lo podemos conseguir. Va a ser muy difícil contra este equipo, uh, pero nosotros uh, creemos en nosotros. Okay, last one, Pedro.